Hi, today we'll try to build a simple football match and goals prediction model using Poisson distribution. By the end of this video, you'll have a deeper understanding of how to apply the Poisson distribution in the context of football predictions using Python. Before kicking off, do subscribe to my channel so you will not miss more football analytics content, tutorials and updates. So let's get started. I've already made a few videos about Poisson distribution. The links are in the description. Today we'll go a step further. But, but first of all, what is the Poisson distribution? The Poisson distribution is a mathematical model that helps us to understand and predict the number of rare events that, that occur within a fixed interval of time or space. Imagine you are waiting for a rare event to happen, like car accidents at a particular intersection or phone calls at a customer service center. The Poisson distribution helps us answer questions like, how many car accidents can we expect at this intersection in a day? Or what's the average number of phone calls received at a customer service center in an hour? Or, as you can imagine, what's the average number of goals can a team score or concede in a specific match? The Poisson distribution assumes that these events happened at a constant average rate and they are independent of each other. In simple terms, the events don't affect each other and they occur randomly, which doesn't always hold in football. The model uh, is too simple and uh, its simplicity can lead to inaccurate predictions in a sport as dynamic as football. So you need to understand that simple Poisson model does give you food for thought. Sometimes its predictions are really good, yet sometimes it fails. So you shouldn't rely solely on this model. There are ways to improve it, but, but the goal of today's video is to go through the basic model set up building a score matrix and fighting probabilities of a match outcome. So let's jump to a coding part. We are at Google Colab and uh, first thing first, we'll import necessary libraries. Among these libraries, there is uh, no surprises. All the libraries are standard for anyone who uh, was working uh, as a data analyst or, or was working with data in Python. The next step is to get the data. We'll be using data from uh, this website, Football Data Co. UK. It's a uh, pretty famous website which contains lots of uh, data sets with scores and odds. And uh, specifically in this example, we'll be using data from the current Italian Serie A championship. Uh, we'll be uh, using uh, several columns, several uh, data points, uh, which are home team, away team, which are the names of home team and away team, uh, respectively, and H, uh, F, T, H, G, F, T, A, G, uh, which is the number of goals scored by home and away teams. Uh, you can uh, have a look at uh, your screen and see how this data set uh, example look like, the, the, the first five rows of this data frame. The next step is to build a model. So we'll be building a really simple and straightforward model. Uh, it will use teams matches both home and away, as well as goals scored by the team. Uh, we'll run every match twice for each team to get observation for each team as a home team and uh, as an away team because these matches are different and because we want to run these uh, matches for the same team as being a home team and as being the opponent team. Uh, if we take a look at the example, we can filter out all the, the games, all the matches we have for Inter uh, as a, uh, our main team. And if this team, Inter team, uh, is a home team, we assign one. So we basically running all the matches uh, twice because we can have a look 
and uh, see we have the same games, but uh, with uh, Inter being opponent and therefore calculating uh, these results uh, for other teams. So the next step is to run our model. We'll be using this generalized linear model based on Poisson and to calculate goals, we'll be using, just like I said, uh, the home advantage, if there is any, uh, the name of the team and the name of the opponent. And here are the results. Next, what we want to do is to find expected mean number of goals. And for this example, we'll be using the upcoming match of Italian Serie A between Bologna and Lazio. And to find expected mean goals, we can just pass the data to our model and predict uh, the home score rate and away score rate. And if we do this, uh, if we run this cell, we'll get that Bologna, we, the expected number of goals Bologna will score against Lazio at their home game is close to one and the same number of expected goals Lazio uh, will score against Bologna as a away team is 0 0.70, almost 4. The next step is to run a match simulation. We can create this uh, function simulate match and pass the model, the football model, which is in our, our case will be Poisson, home name of the home team uh, we specified over here, name of uh, away team and maximum goals. Uh, the default value of maximum goals is 10. So we'll run the same uh, home goals average to find expected goals for away uh, for home team and away goals average to find the expected goals for away team. Then uh, we'll run this loop and what uh, it does, it uses two for loops to calculate the Poisson probability mass function for each team's average goals. And it will store the results in the team pred list. Uh, if it looks too complicated at the first sight, here's an alternative uh, simplified version. This code, uh, which is uh, commented, uh, does the same job uh, the previous one. And the next uh, step we want to do is to uh, return the the result, the score matrix, we want to get a score matrix. And for this, we need to multiply uh, the probabilities of home goals uh, average and away goals average for home team and away team. Uh, if we just return the team pred uh, result, uh, it returns the probability of goals from zero to, to maximum goals value we specified, uh, or uh, it, it, is, it, it will be 10 if uh, it, we are not specifying and the 10 is default value in our case. And to get the probability of a score, uh, not only the expected number of goals, but the score, so uh, the expected number of goals from both teams, we need to multiply probability of each home team result, uh, which is number of goals scored, to the probability of other team uh, result or number of goals. And that's exactly what this numpy.outer does. It multi multiplies probabilities from home team's uh, expected goals to the uh, probabilities of away team's expected goals. Uh, if it's uh, too complicated, uh, trust me now, uh, the next cell will clarify everything. So uh, in our example, we'll specify the maximum uh, number of goals to five because, well, the, the, the chances are they will score more than, than five goals um, are not that high. And we can run this simulation by passing the model, which is Poisson model, passing the name of our home team, which is Bologna, we specified it uh, before, away team, which is Lazio, and maximum, maximum number of goals, which is in our case five. And 
it returns this matrix. Now it's very uh, complicated uh, and inconvenient to um, watch and uh, try to figure out what these numbers mean. And uh, for this reason, we can use score mat uh, probabilities matrix and visual visual visualize, I'm sorry, this using Seaborn. And here it is much more convenient to see. And uh, we see that the, the probabilities of scoring uh, one or zero goals are the, the highest for these matches. Now, if we want to calculate the outcomes, and we can do this uh, based on this score matrix, what we can do, we can uh, uh, calculate home draw and away probabilities. How we can do? Well, if you take a look, home win is the sum of score matrix and P NumPy uh, triangle lower. What does it mean and why it is for home win? It, why it is calculating probabilities for home win? Uh, home is Bologna. So lower, if we take a look at lower triangle, it's all the uh, cells where Bologna, which is home team, has uh, scored, uh, will score more goals than away team, Lazio. So every cell which is below the diagonal uh, line shows that Bologna will win this match because in all these cells Bologna scores more than Lazio. Then in order to calculate the uh, probabilities of, of a draw, we need to uh, sum all the uh, probabilities of the draw, which is in our case diagonal. And we can do this by uh, numpy.diag. Diag. And finally, if we want to sum the away win, we need to do, to do the same with the upper triangle to sum all the probabilities of the upper triangle. And it does this NumPy triangle R, U, which, which stands for upper. And if we do this, if we print this, we can see that Bologna win probability is almost 40%, uh, draw prob probability 33.5%, and Lazio win probability is 27%, roughly 27%. Now we can compare these two average probabilities uh, that we can find at odds portal. We see that Bologna win probability by bookmakers is 35%, 36%. In our case, it's almost 40. Uh, the difference is not that uh, big. Now, the draw probability uh, in our case is 33% and uh, draw prob probability of bookmaker, the average odds of bookmakers is 28%. Uh, the same, almost 5% uh, percentage points difference. And where the difference is, <coughs> excuse me, is uh, with the Lazio win probability. While our model uh, shows that there is 27% probability for Lazio, the average odds for Lazio win implied probabilities are 36%, almost 10% percentage points difference. So basically, that's all uh, with the calculating Poisson distribution and building Poisson model. So in a nutshell, why while the Poisson distribution is a handy tool in many areas, it may fall short when it comes to predicting goals or matches in football. At least when one uses it, uses it by default or as a single model of truth. So the Poisson model could be, could be and I think should be used as a supplemental or additional tool for your analysis and predictions. To continue watching videos like this, don't forget to like, and subscribe to my channel so will, you will not miss upcoming football analytics content, tutorials, and updates. You can also show your support by buying me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com. The link is in the description. Thank you for watching. Cheers.